Okay, I'm going to do um, the two lessons combined in this blog for DV8. We've been oh, sorry. we've been looking at um, DV8 and how Lloyd Newson why he's used that physical theatre piece. He's used it on film, TV, so he can get a wider audience. But also, something we've been talking about is like in lesson like. What's a dancer to you? I said, a dancer can be anyone as long as they've got the technique. Don't care if they're huge, a midget, tall, got loads of spots, you don't have to have a perfect face. Because anyone can be a dancer as long as they work hard and get the technique. That's what Lloyd Newson was trying to show. You don't have to be gay, you don't have to be fat, you don't have to have no legs. You can do anything. That's why uh, I like Enter Achilles because he's got he similar. He also on about Enter Achilles, he uses like props and staging very well to symbolise that. Like he wouldn't have that in there not for meaning. Like in Enter Achilles, he had Tom Jones, very manly, masculine, a pub masculine, I like coming in orange t-shirt, very feminine. And that's very good because it connects with the audience too, saying there's a meaning to that several meanings also uh, like the gay character and that's something he's work I'm very really impressive because he uses all them like he's saying like like you don't want to show a particular character like uh, um, oh, I can't get my word out the DVA piece, the DVA piece we watched, um, sorry I can't remember the name of it, but uh, he has no legs, it just shows, you can move to um, a piece exactly the same, and now they should all be treated like, treated the same, and uh, it was like they touch him because it's showing that, just the way he moves, by like sliding on the floor, is very powerful. And I thought that's something Lloyd Newton wanted to get across that. Like, he wanted it to show that. Like, there's no one perfect. Anyone can create a piece. Can be like a performer. If you're gay, fat, tall, have no legs, no arms. If you can create a movement, it's going to be beautiful. That's why... Uh, I thought it was very good because um, we were with Harry, he was said he only got one foot on a piece. Just like the way he moved on the floor was like very beautiful because it was just him moving and it's like different. And I was able to connect to it. Like I worked with Nathan, George, and Paul, but I did a little duet with Nathan. Like showing how different ways like you can connect with the body and move. And get that rhythm on stage, and it's just very powerful and beautiful. I think that's what D Lloyd Newsom wanted for DV8 make it powerful and beautiful, but also to like, educate and entertain us. Um, I also thought, oh my god, it's gone out of my head now. Um, oh god, I forgot it. Um, oh. Anyway, I've moved on from that. Well, that's just a show that, like, that's why I use TV and films to show, like, to a wider audience. Like, you wouldn't release a piece, you don't have a set date. You release it when it's perfect, when it's ready, when everything he's got in. Every movement, every speech, every prop got that meaning to show the situation. And I thought I think that's very good. Um my strength is my strength overall that was I was able to use my recap of my past knowledge and deviate from year one in the classes to help the year, the new year ones. Um I was able to take risks with the body on the floor. Because that's the time to take risks because you've got to move like you don't have to have no leg. You've got to just 
Really a body like that. And I thought I did well because I was able to link with Nathan. And that's another person to create a, a very beautiful piece. The weakness is try to talk a lot more and listen. Right. Give ideas because I know the stuff. You just need to give me ideas because nothing's wrong. It's only... Nothing's going to be wrong because you know, no one's going to judge me. Um, something else as a weakness is... Like staging, like, I just focus on mine and Nathan's duet and just left Paul and Georgie to create theirs. I could have just talked about space and said, you're going to come this close to us. Um, but also, another weakness is... Um, no, that's all. To remain focused throughout, like, throughout the old, like... I lost focus at the beginning, but as soon as we started doing more practical, I got focus. I was able to work it, like I was shouting Nathan, I would say, I want to get this done, because I enjoy doing this movement piece. And I think, if I'm able to stay focused and, like, look at these wide range of ideas I can do, I can't be in different performances and different, like, choreograph or pieces we create. Uh, thank you, this is my video blog.